वेलकम टू द क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर 9 ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड देयर सराउंडिंग्स लेट्स वॉर्म अप टेक द एनिमल्स टू द प्लेस दे बिलोंग्स टू लुक एट दिस पिक्चर स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू टेक द एनिमल टू देयर बिलोंग्स ओके यू कैन डू इट बाय योरसेल्फ एज यू नो ऑल अबाउट दीस थिंग्स लेट्स नो अबाउट हैबिटेट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ हैबिटेट टाइप्स ऑफ हैबिटेट एंड एडेप्टेशंस The first topic we will discuss habitat. Our surroundings include both living and non-living components. Both the factors affect the form and growth of the organisms by interacting with each other. So students, जो हमारी surrounding है उसमें living और non-living दोनों type के components हैं और वो हर एक organism की growth और form को affect करते हैं. Look at the first we have. The living components include all the living organisms. They are also called biotic components. The non-living components include sunlight, air, water, soil, and temperature. These form the abiotic components of the environment. So, students, आपके environment के दो component हैं biotic and abiotic. Biotic living, abiotic non-living होते हैं. Get it, students? Now, look here. Living organisms are found almost everywhere. They are found on land, deep down in the earth, in burrows. Some live in water, oceans. High snow bound mountains, hills, and even in very hot deserts. So students, living organism आपको हर जगह मिलते हैं अर्थ के अंदर भी मिलेंगे आपको वॉटर में मिलेंगे ओशंस में माउंटेन्स पे एवरीवेयर मैनी ऑर्गेनिज्म सच एज स्पाइडर्स लिजार्ट स्नेक्स बीटल्स कॉकरोच एक्सेट्रा लिव विद अस इन आर होम्स इवन इफ वी डोंट वॉन्ट दैम टू अ प्लेस वेयर एन ऑर्गेनिज्म लिवस इज कॉल्ड इट्स habitat the habitat is a part of the total environment of the region habitat is the dwelling place of an organism where it lives comfortably and which provides now we have types of habitats the habitats are broadly grouped into two types namely aquatic and terrestrial habitats first we will discuss about the terrestrial habitats look here terrestrial habitat the organisms living on land are called terrestrial organisms and their habitat is called terrestrial habitat or land habitat so students who land pe rehte hain wo unke habitat ko hum kya bolte hain terrestrial habitat terrestrial habitat show great variations in climatic conditions temperature rainfall and the structure of land based on these variation the terrestrial habitats can be of various types these are as follows So students, आप सबको पता है कि हमारी लैंड के डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर है टेम्परेचर अलग होता है तो उसके बेसिस पे हमारे टेरिस्ट्रियल हैबिटेट के डिफरेंट टाइप्स हैं लुक हेयर फॉरेस्ट हैबिटेट ग्रास लैंड हैबिटेट डेजर्ट हैबिटेट टुंडरा हैबिटेट माउंटेन हैबिटेट नाउ वी हैव एक्वेटिक हैबिटेट द ऑर्गेनिज्म लिविंग इन वॉटर आर कोल्ड एक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड दियर हैबिटेट इज कोल्ड एक्वेटिक हैबिटेट और वॉटर हैबिटेट ओशियंस सीज रिवर्स पॉन्ट्स लेक्स Pools, etc., are examples of aquatic habitat. Look at this picture. An aquatic habitat. Seas and oceans have saline, salty water. They form the marine habitat. The organisms living there are called marine organisms. Whales, seals, turtles, starfishes, shark, etc., are marine animals. Whereas algae like ceratosaurus, fucus, etc., are marine plants. Look here. The next point we have ponds. pools lakes rivers and swim form the fresh water habitat lotus hydrilla vulcinaria and lily are fresh water plants while fishes ducks tortoises and dolphins are fresh water animals plants growing in water are called hydrophytes plants growing near sea source in saline conditions are called halophytes so students here you have check and made on the page 87 you can do it by yourself as you read about these things now we have forest habitat forests are large areas of land which are thickly covered with tall trees short bushes and creepers the forest plants occur in three layers tall from the tall tree from canopy short trees and bushes from undergrowth grasses and other vegetation on the forest floor from the floor vegetation so students aapke forest mein three types ki jo hai aapko growth dikhai deti hai ya plants dikhai dete hain jaise tall trees and short bushes and then grasses okay students now forest is home for different types of animal aur bahut sare animals ka ghar hota hai forest okay look at the first point we have 
Some animals live underground in holes or tunnels. Look at this picture. A tropical rainforest. Second point we have. Some animals live on forest floor. Third, look here. A large number of animals live on trees based on temperature, moisture and types of and types of trees, there are three main types of forest, tropical rainforest, temperature forest and boreal forest. So students, our forest may be different type of trees, their temperature is different, there is rain is different. So on that behalf, we have divided our forest. How many types of types? Three types we have. Tropical rainforest, temperature forest and boreal forest. First, we discuss about tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforests are hot and moist. They get rain throughout the year with an average rainfall of 200 cm. They have temperature between 20 degrees Celsius and 34 degrees Celsius. They grow in area between the equator and the tropics. Rainforests are very rich in both plant and animal variety. Look at the picture. A temperate forest. So students, tropical rainforests to have आपको वहाँ बहुत ज़्यादा variety मिलेगी plants और animals की वो equator और tropic के बीच में होते हैं. Now we will discuss about the temperate forest. Look at this picture. This is a picture of temperate forest. Temperate forests are warm and humid during summer, but cold and dry in winter. The annual rainfall is 150 centimeter and the temperature ranges from 30 degree Celsius to 32 degree Celsius. They have, they have deciduous trees which shed their leaves in autumn and grow new leaves in spring. So these are some characteristics of temperate forest. Now we have boreal forest grow in Taiga region which lies between poles and temperate zone. They have short summer and a long winter. They receive heavy snowfall temperature in boreal forest Rains from minus 50 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Look at this picture. This is a picture of a boreal forest. In boreal forest are evergreen like pine fir and sprouts. They are conical in shape and have needle like leaves. Now we will discuss about the grassland habitat. Grassland habitats are hot and partly dry areas where grasses are the main plants and trees and shrubs are few. Here the annual rainfall varies from 50 cm to 90 cm. Grassland provides home and food to both herbivores and carnivores. Zebras, giraffes, deer, buffaloes and elephants are herbivores and lions, tigers, hyenas and foxes are the carnivores found here. So, you have grassland habitat, you have carnivores and herbivores, dono type of animals. Look at this picture, a grassland habitat. Now we have desert habitat. Desert habitats are very dry places where rainfall is scarce. That means less than 25 cm. About one fifth of the earth's land surface is desert. Desert can be hot or cold but they are always dry. In hot deserts, the day temperature reaches up to 45 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius. Garbles, kangaroo, rats, snakes, scorpions and camels are desert animals. Cacti, opuntia, date palm, acacia, and esculent plants are plants grow in desert. Many desert animals dig burrows to escape scorching heat of the sun during daytime. So students, आपको पता है कि अगर हम deserts की बात करें तो हमारे पास two types के desert होते हैं hot and cold. आपके deserts hot and cold हो सकते हैं temperature का difference हो सकता है लेकिन वो always dry होते हैं ठीक है अगर हम होट डेजर्ट की बात करें तो वहाँ 45 से 60 डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर होता है इन डे। सो वहाँ पे जो एनिमल्स हैं उनका डिफरेंट टाइप का डिफरेंट हैबिटेट होता है डिफरेंट टाइप होता है। लुक एट दिस पिक्चर अ होट डेजर्ट हैबिटेट। डू यू नो मोस्ट डेजर्ट्स आर इन द मिडल ऑफ कंटिनेंट्स Antarctica, Gobi and Greenland are cold deserts. Animals living on mountains have fur on their body to withstand the chill winds. Now look here. Tundra habitat. Tundra habitats are always covered with snow so they are very cold and dry. They are found here. The vegetation is very scanty and in the form of some grasses. Polar bears, reindeer, vessels, arctic fossils, snowshoe hares, and snow dogs are the animals found in tundra habitat. Polar bears have one and thick layer of the fat under their skin which is called blubber. 
सो स्टूडेंट्स टुंड्रा रीजन क्या होता है वहां बहुत ज्यादा आइस होती है बहुत कोल्ड रीजन होता है कम टू द नेक्स्ट वी हैव माउंटेन हैबिटेट माउंटेन हैबिटेट्स आर रॉकी एंड वेरी कोल्ड स्नोफॉल अगर्स इन विंटर फॉलोड बाय चिली विंड्स द ट्रीज ऑन माउंटेन्स आर कोन शेप देयर लीव्स आर नेडल लाइक सो दैट स्नो कैन जस्ट स्लाइड ओह स्नो लेपर्ड सीप याक एंड माउंटेन गोट आर फाउंड ऑन द माउंटेन Get a student look at this picture. Mountain goat in the mountain habitats. You have learned about the different types of habitat. Look at this activity we have. Think about the different plants and animals found there and fill in the table given below. Animal, plants, and other objects found in different surroundings. So you can fill this table by yourself. Now we will discuss about the adaptations. Organisms live happily in the habitats they are born in. This is because they have some special features which help them live in their habitats comfortably and successfully. For example, a fish can live in water, a monkey on tree, and a camel in desert. Because each one of these has some special features that suit to its surroundings. So, students, if we talk about adaptation, in which environment we are born, we have some habits. We can live there very easily. How can we live there? Because हम वहाँ पैदा हुए होते हैं अब जैसे अगर आप फिश की बात करें तो फिश पानी में आराम से रहती है मंकी ट्री पे रहता है सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एडेप्टेशन परमानेंट चेंज दैट आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म टू सरवाइव सक्सेसफुली इन अ न्यू हैबिटेट ओवर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर्स आर कोल्ड एडेप्टेशन लेट इज स्टडी द फीचर्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स लिविंग इन डिफरेंट हैबिटेट टेरिस्टेरियल एडेप्टेशन टेरिस्टेरियल हैबिटेट इज वोस्ट एंड वेराइट Thus, plants and animals living here have variety of adaptations. Adaptations in tropical rainforest habitat. Plants in tropical rainforest show the following adaptations. Look here. Look at the first point we have. Tropical rainforest have all have tall evergreen trees. Their leaves form a dense canopy which prevents sunlight from reaching the forest floor. Due to excessive rain, trees get plenty of water to grow. Come to the next point we have the leaves of trees are large having specialized tips the, these tips are called drip tips the drip tips allow the raindrops to drop off from the leaves this protects the leaves from rotting get it students so these are the characteristic of plants which are found in tropical rainforest now come to the next look here a wide variety of animal species is found in rainforest because of plenty of food and mild weather The insects are numerous. Look here. Look at the first point we have. A leaf insect has green leaf-like body, and a stick insect resembles a dry stick or twig. So they are not easily spotted out from their surroundings. This blending of animals with their surrounding in shape and color is called camouflaging. This enables animals to hide themselves from their predators. So students, क्या होता है? देखो वहाँ पे बहुत आपको animals दिखाई देंगे rainforest में वहाँ पे दो type के insects होते हैं एक leaf insect एक stick insect जो leaf insect होता है वो आपको leaf की तरह दिखाई देता है तो आप उसे differentiate नहीं कर पाएंगे और जो stick insect होता है वो आपको dry stick की तरह resemble होता है ये जो characteristic है किसी भी animal की उसके surrounding से resemble करने की that is या उसके shape और color को change करने की that is camouflaging aquatic adaptations The living organisms found in water develop certain features to cope up with the conditions prevailing in water, such as water pressure, breathing in water, etc. These are called aquatic adaptations. Here is adaptations in aquatic animals. Aquatic animals like the fishes have the following adaptations to live in water. So look here. The first point we have: streamlined and spindle-shaped body. This reduces the friction with water and helps aquatic animals swim easily. Look at this picture. A fish showing aquatic adaptations. Look here: eye, dorsal fin, caudal fin, tail, anal fin, and lateral fin. Now we have gills to breathe in oxygen dissolved in water. Fins to propel the fish in water and help in swimming. Next, caudal fin. It steers the body and helps in changing the direction of fish while swimming. Then we have scaly and slippery skin. The hard waterproof scales and slime on the body. Surface protect aquatic animals from water, as in dolphins and whales. Whales and dolphins have lungs. They come to water surface for breathing air. 
Their nostrils are called blowholes from which the air goes out as they form a blowpipe and produces a shower of water. Look at this picture. Whale producing a shower of water. So students, the whale or dolphin are unke unme gills present nahi hote hai. Kya present hota hai? Lungs present hote hai. Aur wo apne breathing process ko complete karne ke liye pani se bahar aate hai. Now we have adaptations in aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are of following three types. Look at this picture. We have Vulcanaria submersed, Lotus fixed, Pistia floating. So these are the three types of aquatic plants. Look here, floating, submerged and fixed floating aquatic plants. First, we will discuss about the floating plants. Look here, floating plants. Floating plants like Pistia, water hynix and lamina float freely on the surface of water. They have spongy and swollen leaves and stems. Now come to the next, submerged plants. Plants like Hydrilla, Velcinaria, etc. remain under water and their roots are embedded in the mud. They have narrow leaves with no stomata. Get it students? Now come to the next. Fixed and floating plants. Plants like lotus are attached to the soil at the bottom of pond and their rest part floats on the surface of water. They have long and hollow stems. Their leaves are broad and social shaped. So, when you fixed floating plants, their stem is hollow and their leaves are broad. Get it students? Now. Adaptations to temperate forest habitat. Here, look at the first point. To tolerate the cold during winter, the deciduous trees found in temperate forest shed their leaves in autumn and grow new leaves in a spring. Th second point, look here. Then we have their leaves are thin and broad. Come to the next. During winter, the animals live in temperate forest, either migrate to warmer regions or hibernate. Animals like bats, hazogs, many fish, amphibians and reptiles go on hibernation. Some animals like squirrels and ants gather food during summer and store it for winter. Look at these pictures. Leaf insects resemble a green leaf and a stick insects resemble a dry leaf. So students, kya hota hai? Agar hum temperate forest ki baat kare, to wahan par hibernation ka process follow kiya jata hai un, uske animals ke dwara, jo temperate forest mein rehte hain. Aur kuch animals, jaise ant or squirrel, wo apna khana jo hai, ikhatta karte hai summers mein for winter. Adaptations to boreal forest habitat. Trees in boreal forest are conical in shape, pose no to slide off easily. The needle-like leaves of the trees prevent water loss by evaporation. Also, they allow snow to slide down. Look at this picture, students. Needle-like leaves of pine tree. Boreal trees get sunlight and therefore less energy. They conserve energy by not shedding their leaves. Come to the next point we have. Animals in boreal forest have thick layer of fur or feathers to keep them warm. Some animals hibernate during winter or move to warmer places. They are usually whitened to camouflage them with the snow. Now we will discuss about the adaptations for desert habitat. Desert animals have to tolerate scorching heat and water loss during the day. Some desert animals like desert rats, lizards and snakes stay in deep burrows during daytime to avoid intense heat. They become active only at night when it is cool. Such animals are called nocturnal. Now look at the picture, a desert folks in a bureau to avoid intense heat during the daytime. So students, kya hota hai? Desert mein kuch animals daytime mein apne bureaus mein rahate hain, raat ko bahar aate hain, jab mosim thanda ho jata hai. Now, look at the first point, camels. Camels show a number of adaptations to survive in the desert. Camels have thick skin and no sweat glands to prevent the loss of water. Large and padded soles help them in walking on loose and without sinking. Long eyelashes and ear hair protect eyes and ears from sun. Long legs keep the body away from hot sun. They excrete thick urine. So student, these are the characteristics of camel. Jo wo vaha dikhata hai apne desert mein rehne ke liye uski jo body hai usko need hoti hai in sab cheezo ki. Get it? Come to the next point we have camel. Camels can store water by drinking a large quantity of water at a time. Hump at their back stores fat which provides them energy and water. Look at this picture, camel, a desert animal. Do you know? The camel is 
best adapted to live in deserts it can run and walk on sand easily therefore it is called the ship of desert look here students plants growing in deserts are called xerophytes they face a scarcity of water and intense heat look at this picture leaves and cactus are modified into spines to prevent water loss look here we have desert plants have long roots to absorb water from deeper layers of the soil they have fleshy stems to store water therefore they are called esculents to carry out photosynthesis in the absence of leaves the stems becomes green also it is covered with a waxy layer to retain water so desert mein jo plants hote hain unka photosynthesis kiski help se hota hai stem ki help se to reduce loss of water through transpiration the leaves in desert plants are modified into spines as in cactus adaptations for grassland habitat adaptations in herbivores herbivorous animals of grassland have following adaptations look here students they have strong teeth for chewing and cutting hard grass second point we have their ears are long to detect the movement of predators third they have long legs and hooves to run fast and escape predators then we have they have eyes on the sides of their head which help them look in all the directions for predators presence get it students so these are the adaptations of animals which live in grassland now we have adaptations for mountain habitats wide range of terrestrial plants and animals are found in mountain habitat it is usually called in mountains sometimes there is snowfall in mountains look at the pictures mountains habitat pine trees plants growing in mountains have many adaptive features the shape of the plant is usually cone shaped such as pine tree the trees found in this habitat have sharp needle like leaves which help the snow to slide down so students agar hum baat kare jo aapke mountains pe jo plants hote hain wo cone shape ke hote hain unki jo leaves hoti hain wo bhi needle shape, needle like shape hoti hai kyun hoti hai kyunki jab snow fall hota hai to easily jo hai snow jo hai unse slide down ho jata hai aur plants jo hai kharab nahi hote now we will discuss about the animals animals living in mountain habitat have a number of adaptations animals such as yak polar bear and snow leopard have thick fur on their body to keep them warm and protect them from cold the mountain goat has strong hooves which help it to run on the rocky mountains look at the pictures we have yak snow leopard and polar bear what we learn in this chapter now we will discuss it in a nutshell A place where an organism lives in nature is called its habitat. A habitat includes physical surroundings, climates and all organisms living around. The sun is the ultimate source of light on the earth. Non-living physical factors of the habitat are called abiotic components. All life forms such as plants, animals and humans are called biotic components. with the help of chlorophyll green plants produce in the presence of sunlight using carbon dioxide and water this process is called photosynthesis here is some keywords abiotic non living or without life biotic living things habitat a place where an organism lives in nature decomposes certain microorganisms like bacteria and fungi here is terrestrial organisms the organism living on land adaptations capability of an organism to adjust with any change in the environment here is evergreen trees trees that have lived throughout the year thank you students we will meet again in the next chapter